Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so uh, this is going to be a uh, Leo Sun, Leo Moon and uh, Leo Rising weekly tarot reading June 10th to uh, June 16th, 2019 and uh, bear with me a second guys to shuffle the tarot cards and uh, we can jump uh, directly to the spread. Okay, so um, the first card which represents uh, Leo's topic for the week, that will be the Eight of uh, Cups, followed by the second card which stands for the challenges in front of Leo. This is going to be uh, the Page of uh, Wands, followed by the third one which sits as a positive aspect of the week, that is to be the Tree of, uh, the tree of Swords. And in the last one that appears as a guidance for Leo, we have the Ten of uh, Wands. So once again, the topic of the week itself, that will be the Eight of Cups, followed by the uh, Page of Wands, which sits as a challenges. Afterwards, what we have, it is to be the Tree of Swords, which sits as a positive aspect. And lastly, <clears throat> Ten of uh, Wands, it is the uh, guidance that Tsaro is offering to you, Leo. So, um, well, that is a, a very, how, how can I place it? A, uh, I would say a normal week because these things are happening, um, you know, all around us. And it's not going to come as a surprise to too many people that this thing is to is to happen to you guys but um this week you are to leo's you are to let's say find out i don't know if that's the right term i should use find out that someone into your environment is simply ain't worth investing in that, that that's the whole point it's because this person is either going to be rather inconsistent um, with lack of sense of emergency as well. No, no different than if someone comes to you to, uh, so you teach them something, all right, and you start teaching them that thing they come, uh, they come to you for. However, let's say in a couple of days or in a couple of weeks, you realize that this person will are never going to learn. It's because it's this, they, their mindset is not into that direction, and they are built up for something completely different. So uh, that is the the overall theme and topic uh, for your week here by these uh, by these three cards or four cards excuse me and especially with the guidance that we do have uh, it's the card itself ten of wands it's pointing that sometimes it is best you know not to not to push way too hard because regardless what one does to fix someone or to point someone into the right direction it's, it will be rather futile because as it is important you to do something to improve someone else's uh, circumstances, if they don't want to listen or follow your advice, everything that you do is rather, you know, futile. That could uh, that could as well involve rather an um, uh, ungrateful person. The things that you do for them and they kind of like takes them for granted as well. 
So uh, the first card that is to be the Eight of Cups, and the Eight of Cups literally points that you will have to um, salvage your current situation with that person we're talking about, we, uh, that I'm talking about, excuse me, and we're going to see about that person into the challenges. But let's say now that this situation involves a person that you either cooperate with, you know, or you're trying to build up a relationship with, and simply they don't comply, simply they are rather unsubordinate, inconsistent, immature rather and it seems that they lack interest well they do have interest in it but it, it doesn't look like that they are willing to put the necessary efforts behind into the situation you have with this person it could be your child as well leo i mean you you try to build up your child as a character and become let's say you know a dancer or, or a football player or i don't know to to sign it for a certain sport and it seems that this kid it's simply not interest in it or rather it's interest but it it, it it does not want to put the necessary efforts behind so instead what you can do here is truly salvage like i said the situation and move on from it because a brighter perspective it's it's about to emerge soon for you that is as the eight of cups promises the accompanied card here that will be the justice and the formation it is a passive neutral uh, passive enemies ex no enemies excuse me a passive neutrals so uh with the passive neutrals as uh, justice as a passive neutral to the uh, eight of uh, cups it kind of uh it kind of points the uh, how can i describe it um uh, you you are to take way too big responsibility with trying to push on this endeavor with that person moving on forward. And finally, what happens is that you alone will have to bear the whole, not consequences, but let's say responsibilities into, um, into the situation itself. Just to give you another example of this is let's say you're trying to build up a business with someone, all right? But as soon as you start building up the business, you see that the person you're trying to build the business uh, with it's rather disinterest, it's it's slacking and it's kind of like slinking around, trying to avoid circumstances, trying to avoid responsibilities as well. Uh, you always constantly have to chase them for something and so on and so forth. And before you know it, you are going to find yourself in a situation where the whole, the, the, the weight of the business itself is going to fall upon your shoulders. And uh, that's why you need that awareness, acute awareness, to know when to say and stop to draw the line and if things isn't happening mutually then it's time for you to uh to move on so we go to the next card which is the challenge and that is the person itself page of wands so uh page of wands it's a very interesting card in this uh, in this follow-up because the page it does have a your pure intentions but the point is that uh, the problem excuse me is that the page is rather very scattered so um, I will give you now an, an example in regards to relationships, right? If the page appears to be your suitor into relationship, when you are together, uh, it will seem that the page is rather very devoted, okay? And it's very exhilarating and, and, and cheerful and so on and so forth. And you're going to say, great, now this person is really into me. But as soon as you uh, departure from one another and you settle up a date, for example, in a couple of days uh, from now, uh, you will see that the page uh, will either postpone it or it will seem disinterested. Or even if you don't schedule a date, you say, I'm going to call me to schedule a date. You know, that call will never going to come around. It is because the page gets consumed with something else. So it's rather quite inconsistent and uh, very scattered person. And for that reason, because they don't have a fulcrum, your fulcrum, excuse me, to focus on. That is the reason why it will be very difficult almost impossible to build up something with this person at least into the near future the accompanied card here that will be the the king of cups and this is a huge red flag because we do have an active enemies the uh, king of cups is active enemy to the page of wands and it points that this person does things only by its pure personal amusement rather than from a deep content and deep feelings as well Simply said, if that's your suitor, according to these cards, uh, maybe that person thinks that they loves you, but in reality, it's just a passion. It's not yet love, although it could, uh, it could, you know, transform into it. But it's gonna take a lot of uh, a lot of 
patience and, and efforts from, from your behalf, you know, to overcome this initial stage where the page feels on the top of the world and that they, and that they can get away with whatever they want, you know. And also the page has that um, nature of exploration. So they were always going to, you know, look at something else, uh, regardless of what that is, because that is their nature. They are always open for options available, meaning that you are not their only option available. In other words said, guys, this person doesn't really care if the endeavor that you do have in a cumulative stage is going to work out or not. It's because they put a bare minimum into it, if that is to say the least, okay, because they probably don't put any effort whatsoever, but they're waiting for you to do the whole job. So uh, what will be the positive aspect here? And the positive aspect applies only if you recognize that and you move on. And that will be the Tree of Swords. So the Tree of Swords is a positive card. It does point a successful defense. When one is cornered against the wall, one is the most, uh, is, in, is in its strongest stage meaning that uh, it, is a hard, it is a card of healing and a card of, um, how do you say it when you move on and you don't regret it? So, when, I don't know how to say it, with no remorse maybe, I don't know. So yeah, um, as soon as you realize that uh, things are not worth it, def um, yeah, things are not worth it, to be pushed only by you in this cumulative endeavor, uh, you will feel no regrets about it and it's somewhat there won't be any pain or any, any disappointment when it comes to detaching from, uh, from the situation and moving on forward with it. Another example that comes to my mind is a co-worker, okay? So you both are working upon a big project but you realize this week that this co-worker of yours actually doesn't contribute a thing into the project. So you determine yourself to actually um, reveal that to your boss and you are to have no remorse whatsoever doing it so because you're not going to feel pity that your co-worker is going to get punished because they simply did not done their, haven't done their job. Especially with the justice, even though as a neutral card you're sense of self-righteousness that you do deserve better or that you do not deserve what is happening to you is going to speak up for you as well and that is going to be additional contribution not having a uh, doubt nor regret you know to expose the situation itself the accompanied card here this is going to be the five of pentacles formation it is a active enemies once again <clears throat> and it's a pretty positive one it's, uh, if I have to define it as a, a grand scheme of things or as a, a very general um, interpretation of these couple of cards, it does mean that why one def uh, denies failure, okay? One it's, uh, defiles the standpoint of being exploited and, and, and being taken advantage of. So do whatever it's necessary to traverse this, uh, this situation, even if it means that you will have to walk away from. So uh, that leads us to the next card, which is the final one for you, Leo. That is to be the guidance uh, that Tarot is offering to you. And I said it at the start of the reading here, we do have the Ten of Wands. So Ten of Wands in this case points us that you are carrying on a very heavy burden, all right? So you are carrying on someone on your back and you don't have to do it. You simply don't have to do it. And that's why it is time as a guidance card to drop off that heavy burden off your shoulders. You know, this could be, like I said, as trifling as a coworker of yours, or it could be as substantial as a, a wife or a husband. But um, at the end of the day, guys, if someone makes you miserable or someone takes advantage of your skills, your efforts, your kindness, they don't have the, uh, the moral right, and not just the moral right, but in general, the right to do it. And uh, if you don't step for your own personal rights, which is the tree of swords, like I said, when one is cornered, 
one has to do whatever it's needed, you know, to traverse the situation. So you have to step for your own personal right. No, no one else is going to. And uh, if you are at the end of this week finding yourself in a situation where you're doing all the chores at home, you know, or <clears throat> all the responsibilities into one project, this is because you have not stepped up for your own personal rights. And the uh, accompanied card here, that is to be the Five of Swords formation. It is in an active friends that we have. And the Five of Swords, it is uh, pointing to rootlessness and it is pointing to disregarding, you know, the plead, the, the pleads of the person that stands on the other side, meaning that um, no matter what they say should touch you um, even the slightest, if I may express myself that way, because... Uh, just to give you an example of that, if we're following the co-worker thing, you know, and you say, okay, so you don't do your job, I, I'm going to the boss and you are going to tell them that you are actually worthless for the project and they will, they will start, oh, please, I'm going to lose my job, I have three kids to feed. Well, that is none of your business, you know. You should not pay, you know, their bills. I mean, you should not feel responsible for that they screwed up, okay, and definitely you should not pay for it, to say the least. So yeah, I mean, it's it's up for most importance, Leo, for throughout this week to step for your own personal rights and to seek justice, if I may express myself that way. Everybody has to get what they deserve. And it seems that that will be thanks to uh, your actions that you are to take toward the situation in between you and that person itself. Okay, so that being said, this was your weekly tarot reading for June 10th to June 16th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, and uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.